Aya, this is Druid Cat. Welcome to my course. Fast update time. New models dropped in Comfy UI and we have a lot to cover. Today we compare Flux 2 with Z Image. Check out the Quen Edit Angles workflow and I have a bonus for you at the end. This course requires my scripts from Patreon or Gumroad. Everything is self installing, one click, and you are ready. I encourage you to support the channel and grab the scripts. Let us jump straight into action. Step 1. Setting up storage and template on RunPod. As always, we start on runpod.io and here comes the first piece of news. I have updated Comfy UI along with Python drivers, which unfortunately are not compatible with the previous setup. This means we need to create a new disk and use a new template for everything to work properly. The old disk will still function, but if you want Flux 2 and Z image to run on this updated Comfy UI, I recommend creating a fresh disk or refreshing your old one by transferring data and reinstalling everything from scratch. The new setup runs on updated Python with new drivers, and I can confirm that generation executes noticeably faster. It is a win-win situation so I highly recommend migrating your data to a new storage. Let us create that new disk now. We will set it up on the EURIS1 server. For the name, you can call it whatever you want. Regarding size, I think 500 gigabytes will be needed to fit everything, but honestly, you probably will not need all of it. I estimate that even 300 gigabytes should be enough to contain all the models I am showing you today. Click Create Network Volume. Next, we go to Pods. This is very important. Select Secure Cloud. Then select your new storage volume. I explained this in detail in previous courses, so if you need a refresher, everything there is still accurate. Now select the RTX 5090 card. The new models require a lot of video memory and are quite demanding, so we need the powerful hardware. Then change the template. The new template is available on my Patreon slash Gumroad, and I will also include instructions in the PDF file. Select the new template with the updated Comfy UI. When everything is ready, click Deploy on Demand. The first launch will require some patience because many things need to download. You can monitor progress by clicking on logs and watching what is happening. When everything downloads, the connect button will appear and you will be able to connect to Comfy UI and Jupyter Notebook where we will install the latest Druid Cat scripts. Fun fact, a cat can rotate its ears 180 degrees independently. That is basically a built-in radar system. There's no way to sneak into the kitchen without being heard. Step 2. Installing the scripts. When your disk is ready, click on the pod and open Comfy UI. Do not worry if the status shows not ready. Just check the logs, and if the last log entry shows everything is ready, Comfy UI will work fine. At this point, we do not even need Comfy UI yet. We need Jupyter Notebook. This is where we add our Druid Cat scripts. Navigate to the Comfy UI folder as always and drag your script's zip file here. In another video linked on screen, I show how to do this locally on Windows if you have a compatible graphics card. But since I demonstrate RunPod workflow in every tutorial, let me go through this quickly. Right click and select Extract Archive. After a moment, the Druid Cat Scripts folder appears. One important thing to remember though, the Druid Cat underscore Scripts folder must be placed directly inside the Comfy UI folder. When you extract a zip file on Windows, it often creates an extra folder inside, which causes errors. Make sure your path looks like Comfy UI slash Druid Cat underscore Scripts with nothing in between. Delete that extra folder if Windows created one. What do we have here? I separated one animate and one image workflows because they were too heavy together. I also added many new interesting workflows. We will go through all of them, starting with the simplest and most important ones at the top, which are Flux 2 and Zed Image. To install Flux 2, as always, 
Click on Terminal, navigate into the folder, type the command bash install.sh and press Enter. All models and workflows will copy automatically. We do the same for every script we want to install. So what is new? For those watching my previous videos, here is what changed. Flux2 has a new workflow. ZImage has a new workflow. We will also explore One Animate Enhancer because there are very interesting things there. And I have a bonus workflow for you at the end. Step 3. Flux2 versus ZImage Comparison. Let us try Flux2 first. I entered some simple prompts here. Go to Workflows and load Flux2 Basic. I typed in straightforward prompts and now we will compare the results with ZImage. Here is what we got from the Flux2 model. The image looks somewhat plastic and fantastical. There are many details but it performs very poorly in terms of realism, even compared to 1 2.2 and even compared to fine-tuned versions of Flux1. Now let us see how ZImage handles this. I will use the exact same prompts, copy them over and paste them into this workflow. Open the second workflow called ZED Image Turbo Distilled with Upscaler. This is an advanced workflow with a simple upscaler included. We do not have a trained LoRa for this model yet, so we will only test our prompts. For speed, let us disable the upscaler for now. You can control whether you want upscaling and whether you want to use a LoRa once you train one. Enter the exact same prompt and let us see the results. And here is our result. Same simple prompt, but the difference is indescribable when it comes to realism and details. Zed image absolutely destroys Flux 2. It is undoubtedly the best open source model for image generation right now. In the future, I will create another tutorial on training a LoRa for this model. As for Flux 2, eventually fine-tuned models will appear that will be better and more suited for realism. At the time of recording this material, I have not seen any yet, so for now, let us stick with what we have. I strongly encourage you to switch to Zed Image for image generation. Step 4. One Animate Enhancement Workflow From the other things I updated in my scripts, there are of course minor bug fixes and various small improvements across one animate workflows. I already talked about these workflows in previous videos, so this time I will skip the basics. I invite you to experiment on your own. However, I stumbled upon something interesting. I was missing something that would help raise video quality while remaining open source. Basically an open source equivalent of closed source solutions like Topaz or Runway. I modified the workflow created by Mick Mumpitz, whose workflow is available for free. He did a fantastic job, and I also encourage you to check out his work. With this workflow, we can improve the quality of short videos, and it works very simply. We can add a video. Here we have control over how much the upscaling will progress, with what creativity level. Of course, we need to enter the resolution of our target video. We can add prompts. I also added the option to add your own LoRa, so when you train a LoRa on 1 2.2, for example, of your influencer, then when enhancing quality, she will look even more like herself. By using this workflow, we raise quality without losing the identity of our person. That is why you can also enter a LoRa trigger word here. There are default words already filled in. When we load the workflow, we can improve the quality of any short video we want. Here I use the Druid Cat playing Hurdy Gurdy from the last video. I use Meow Shu AI. This workflow takes quite a while to run, especially if the video is long. You can control various settings here, so if you have a weaker graphics card, you can reduce the number of frames. But the final video should satisfy you. Step 5. Quen Camera Angles Editor among the interesting new things in the Workflows folder, we now have the Quen Camera Angles Editor. Now, when preparing your influencer for LoRa training, you can use this tool as well. You can quickly and easily create camera rotations, which is something I explained in previous episodes. Here we can take our image. 
Click Upload Image. On the left side, we have a list of which prompts work best. You can simply copy them and try running the workflow by clicking Run. When the models load, you should receive, in this case, rotate the camera 90 degrees to the right. So our model should be rotated to the right in the final result. This way, you can create various camera angles very quickly. The workflow uses the QuenEdit Angles LoRa. Bonus. The last workflow is my holiday gift for you. Just take a look. This is the workflow related to Instagram influencers, and we can generate very nice photos in the aesthetic of influencers, streamers, based on WAN 2.2. A very cool workflow available in DruidCat scripts. There is a place where you can add your own LoRa and experiment with this Instagirl workflow on your own. I warmly invite you to my Patreon to grab the hottest workflows for Comfy UI. All updated and ready with a single click. Ready to work. This way you save time and have ready-made open source workflows at your fingertips. And that is it. Remember, do not forget to terminate your pod after you are done to avoid unnecessary charges on RunPod. Thank you for watching. I wanted this to be quick and efficient. Of course, I am still working on my website, druidcat.com. On that site, I also have merchandise for you, including playing cards if you are interested. For those who buy the playing cards, there will be a discount on Patreon. And for the cards, I've also got a Christmas discount for you. Use code CATLOVER for 20% off the cards. I am also working on workflows that will be available directly on druidcat.com for generation. Instead of run pod, instead of messing with scripts, there will be an option to generate directly. Work on the site is progressing constantly. Maybe it will be ready by the new year. Let us hope. Definitely, there will be cheap options. Definitely big discounts for supporters. Because all of this is created thanks to you. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Hey.